Do you have a friend with premature ejaculation? In this video, we would like to talk about the drug options for the treatment of premature ejaculation. But first, we'd like to, to remind that you know, the best diagnose leads to the best treatment. So if you have any doubt, do not hesitate and go to your, to your physician, to your doctor. So let's begin. We have mainly five options for, for, treatment, for treating premature ejaculation. The first drug would be antidepressants. Some antidepressants such as clomipramine, paroxetine, sertraline or fluoxetine have been used for three decades in the treatment of premature ejaculation. But uh, this, this family of uh, drugs are off-label off in the treatment of premature ejaculation. How's that? Because these uh, drugs, it takes them between three and five hours to act. So we have to take the drug three or four hour, or five hours before sex. And as you may guess, it's hard for people to guess when will they be having sex five hours after. So it's pretty complicated. The other option would be to take it daily. So we daily take this drug. But the thing is that we do not have, we do not know the effect of daily dosing these drugs in normal people. So that's why they are not uh, considered to be um, daily treatment for premature ejaculation. They are off-label treatment. Okay. The second uh, option would be dapoxetine. Dapoxetine is a, an ISRS, which is a drug that allows us to maintain longer sexual intercourse. It has been proved to be to prolong our, our, our sex for per three. Uh, we have to take it one hour before sex and the effect of the drug lasts more or less during three or four hours. Uh, regarding secondary effects, uh, side effects are, are very mild in nature, usually headache or, or gastrointestinal issues, but nothing serious. And it's something, it's the only drug that has been approved for the use, uh, for, a, for a treatment in premature ejaculation. So it's the main option here. The third option would be uh, PD-5 inhibitors, phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors, which the most uh, known of this uh, family of drugs would be sildenafil, Viagra, or uh, Cialis, which is Tadalafil, or Levitra, which is uh, Bardenafil, or Spedra, which is Abanafil. These drugs that are very well known for, for everybody, they, they work very well in erectile dysfunction, but we have data, we know that this, this family of drugs also work very well in conjunction, in addition with our other strategies in premature ejaculation. So if we have, for example, sexual therapy or antidepressants and we add this, this drug, this PD-5 inhibitor, the main treatment will be working much better. Okay, so this would be a, like a side, a good side option. The fourth drug would be um, anesthetic gel. The gel of prilocaine or tetracaine is a local anesthetic. We have to use it 30 minutes before intercourse, so we put it on, on our penis and we, we leave it there for 30 minutes. It's important to keep in mind to wash it out before sex, because if not, we can transmit it to our couple and then induce numbness in our in our couple's uh, genital area, and that's nothing. We, that's something we do not want. But it's it's a good option. Uh, these these gels work really very really well. They long, they they um, raise uh, sex duration per three, and they have really very few side effects. So it's they are really a very good option. And the fifth. Drug I'd like to comment is, is tramadol, which is a, it's a morphine-derived uh, drug. We, we can take uh, peroris. The main, uh, the main drawback with this drug are side effects. We know it's efficacious. It works more or less like, like dapoxetine, but the drawback is that it has uh, important side effects, mainly numbness, uh, dizziness, and, um, and constipation, and that's why it has not been you know, widespread uh, its use in, in premature ejaculation uh, population. So to summarize, we have five options. We have antidepressants, we have dapoxetine, 
We have uh, BD5 inhibitors like uh, sildenafil, we have uh, anesthetic gels, and we have tramadol. Uh, from these five, I would advise only to use, always with supervision, the boxetine, PD5 inhibitors, or gel. I hope this video was uh, useful to you. Uh, we remind you again, we have more videos dealing with sexuality and sexual issues, issues in the channel. And uh, as always, we would like to, to underline that you know, good diagnosis is leading to the best treatment. So if, we, if you do have a doubt, go to your healthcare professional. He, will, he or she will be able to, to help you. Thank you very much.